Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, April 8th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SBCA of Anne Arundel County. Well, I'll tell you, the weather cooperated for two wonderful fests at the fairgrounds, the Maryland Chicken Wing Festival and the Asian American Food Festival. Both great times. I also had a great time at the Annapolis Film Festival, despite that lady refusing to believe that I was over 21 and refusing to let me into the after party. But anyhow, it was a great weekend. And today there's an eclipse in the area, roughly from 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And if you need glasses, KMB True Value does have them. And just a quick reminder, in case you are not signed up, our daily news recap newsletter is great for news that happens after this drops in the morning and what happens over the weekend. It's local, it's free, it hits your email inbox at 7 p.m. every night, and I'm going to drop a link right here in the show notes. Anyhow, we do have a bunch of news to catch up on, so shall we? Yesterday in Annapolis, a person was reportedly stabbed on Medgar Evers Street in the Eastport section of Annapolis. The police have yet to disclose any information, but a foot chase did ensue, prompting the police to tell one concerned neighbor to remain in her home. Hopefully, the Annapolis Police Department will have some information to us a little bit later. In other APD news, the murder trial of Charles Robert Smith, accused of a triple homicide in Annapolis, has been delayed until next year. Smith, charged with the fatal shooting of three individuals during a dispute last June, faces additional scrutiny over hate crime allegations and potential MS-13 gang involvement of the victims. Defense attorneys have requested more time to investigate new evidence and claims that their client actually faced a murder contract. The trial, initially scheduled for May 31st, will now start in January or February with pretrial motions set for July 31st of this year. The Annapolis police have arrested three Baltimore men in connection with the city's first murder of 2024. David Winchester Jr. was found dead in Annapolis following a reported kidnapping and home invasion up in Baltimore. Initially, the police said it was just a suspicious death, but they quickly backtracked and called it a homicide. The APD worked with the Baltimore Police Department, who located the individuals in Baltimore. All three do face murder and kidnapping charges and are being held on a no-bond status at the Jennifer Road Detention Center. The Unified Command and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has announced plans to restore navigation at the Port of Baltimore following the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. A temporary channel expected to be operational by the end of April will enable limited vessel traffic. The Corps also aims to fully reopen the primary federal navigation channel by the end of May. Of course, that's subject to weather conditions and wreckage clearance. This is going to open the port to full capacity. Maryland Governor Wes Moore has pledged support for the expedited recovery efforts. Meanwhile, the bodies of Maynard Yasir Suazo Sandoval, a victim of the bridge collapse, was recovered by dive team, bringing a somber note to the ongoing recovery efforts. The bodies of two other workers have yet to be recovered. Yes, that was an earthquake. A magnitude of 4.8 was recorded on Friday morning in New Jersey, northeast of White House Station, The tremors felt over a broad region from Virginia to Maine prompted numerous reports but have not resulted in any significant damage. The earthquake, originating nearly three miles below the Earth's surface, was relatively shallow, which amplified the distance over which the tremors were felt. Me? I didn't feel a darn thing. Hopefully you caught our canines in cross tracks on Friday with Stella, a very personable little chihuahua. So if you are interested in adopting Stella, put in an app. Hopefully you have some room in your heart and your home for her. If you missed it, go on back and give that one a listen. On Saturday, we spoke with Audrey Lee from the Inner West Street Association about the great stuff happening on West Street this year, especially a cool event on the 21st of April. If you missed that, go back and give that one a listen as well. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you, first and foremost, and also a quick thank you to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. Anne Covington is back with her Monday Money Report, and boy, I'll tell you, it seems like it was forever ago when we last heard from her with her week off for her conference, and then I pulled the plug on last Monday. But she is back, and we are glad. And of course, we have George Young from DCMDVA Weather here with the only locally forecasted weather report you're going to find. All that's coming up for you in just a bit, so... 
Hang around. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, April 8th. Today is finally the big day for the great solar eclipse of 2024, and conditions should cooperate pretty nicely for the area with mostly sunny skies for when the region goes into about 86 to 88% eclipse mode around 3.20 p.m., which is a bit more than the eclipse produced in 2017 and should be pretty cool on the whole, producing what ultimately looks like maybe a grayed-out kind of overcast scene versus something really dark but celestial and unique nonetheless. And temps should be in the low to mid-60s, so pretty comfortable out and much nicer than anything from the past week. And it'll get even nicer tomorrow with mixed skies and temperatures in the 70s. But then it's back to clouds and showers Wednesday through Friday with temps near 70 degrees Wednesday. And in the 60s, Thursday and Friday ahead of a nice weekend with sunshine in 65 to 70 degrees on Saturday, followed by highs in the 70s on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You work hard for your money. Is your money working hard for you? Managing and investing it can be confusing. Ann Covington, a financial planner from Covington, Alcina, has been helping people make sense of it for nearly 20 years. Are you ready? Now, here's your Monday Money Report. This is Ann Covington of Covington, Alcina, with your Monday Money Report. The markets were down last week as inflation continues to hold steady, and the Federal Reserve signaled rate cuts are probably not happening anytime soon. A strong jobs report on Friday had stocks bouncing back as the economy continues to grow and unemployment remains below 4%. The strong markets have led to large 401k and IRA balances. It's expected that baby boomers will pass over $50 billion to their heirs, largely Gen X and millennials. But poor planning can complicate matters. The first step is to make certain you and your aging parents have a will, power of attorney, and advanced medical directive. The will says who gets what, and if you have young children, appoints a guardian for them. The power of attorney allows someone to make financial decisions on your behalf. The medical directive allows someone to make medical decisions for you and also spells out what you want for end-of-life care. Some people choose to have a revocable living trust, which works with your will to define who receives what property and can help with incapacity planning. Not everyone needs a trust, so if you're being pressured to purchase one over a will, get a second opinion. Next is to check the title and beneficiaries of all accounts. If you have joint accounts or own real estate with someone, the title is usually either joint tenants by the entirety or joint tenants with rights of survivorship. In both of these cases, the asset will pass to the remaining owner when you die. We see many cases where beneficiaries have not been updated after a marriage, divorce, or death. Check the beneficiary for each account. 
You can also add a beneficiary to bank accounts, investment accounts, and even your car by having a transfer on death or payable on death designation on the account or your vehicle title. We encourage parents to sit down with adult children and discuss their plan. You don't need to share how much you have, but letting them know that you are comfortable and they won't need to financially take care of you is important. Tell them where your documents are located, what you want for end of life care, and anything you'd like for your funeral. Developing your plan and sharing it with your children is a gift and provides peace of mind for everyone involved. Your action item this week is to open and fund a high yield savings account. If you have money in the bank earning less than 1%, moving that into an account earning over 4% is an easy improvement. Be sure to check out our website at CovingtonAlcina.com or our Facebook page for more information and to register for our upcoming educational events, including tonight's webinar on family wealth transfers. Coming to all seen as a registered investment advisor, information presented for educational purposes only and not intended to make an offer or solicitation for the sale or purchase of any specific securities, investments, or investment strategies. Investments involve risk unless otherwise stated or not guaranteed, but should first consult a qualified financial advisor and or tax professional before implementing any strategy discussed here in past performance is not indicative of future performance. And if you don't have a financial advisor, come talk to us. This is Ann Covington with Covington Alcina. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. MacMedics is an Apple authorized service provider. MacMedics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. Mac Medics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call Mac Medics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at macmedics.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.